once in a while that just make my day. Anyways, good. This subject and this topic I want to talk about is from one of our single dev members, and is also a good friend of mine. And the subject is, when is it too late? That's right. When is it too late to have kids? Now, I'm not talking about the medical term because we hear about all these freaks out there that are like 60, 75 years old that are still fathering kids. I'm not talking about that part. Not that there's anything wrong with it. But I'm talking about this particular member's question of when is it a little too late to have children as a man, a father? Well, um, I'm going to answer this in a very broad way because I would love to hear your feedback on this topic because this typical um, question comes up a lot on single dad and when guys get remarried and they're starting a new family, their second family, um, there's a discrepancy between their first family and the new family in age. And, and there's a few TV shows that also so show that um, example. Um, so I guess what I'm trying to say is at what point does it get socially unacceptable to start a new family? Um, well, I want to say I have a couple qualifiers. Number one, how old is the woman you're planning to have children with? I think that's important because if you're like a guy like me, I'm, in, I'm 45 years old and I am going to have a child with a 35-year-old female, I think it's quite possible to have that happen. But I think because of the fact that the mother's younger than the father, I think that has a lot to do with the chances of having a, a very healthy, happy baby. Um, but again, I have my own personal feelings about the age discrepancy. I don't think a guy should go wandering past 10 years. I, I think five to seven years is a good range to have between uh, same age or even older, but don't go farther than five to seven years. That's my single dad opinion on that subject. And I know I'm get beaten for that one, but that is my RJ opinion of that. Five to seven years is fine, guys. Uh, you can go down as far as seven and as up as five, but the thing about it is you also remember, many of these guys, and this is just my opinion, you've got to keep it in perspective. Don't do it for selfish reasons because the last thing you want to be is you want to be a grandpa showing up with your kid at its very first ballet lesson, music lesson, baseball practice, soccer practice, and you can't even kick a ball, throw a ball, or pay attention. So I'm going to say the pros and cons on this subject is older dads that start a family right now for the first time, keep in mind why you're doing it and what are the true benefits. Are you looking after the best interest of the kid? Forget your personal interests of wanting to have kids. Also look at the health benefits of it. And um, more importantly, I mean, think about the hundreds and thousands of kids that need to be adopted every day. If you really got to have a kid and you're pushing past, I don't know, I'm going to say 47. I just made that number up. 47. If you're a guy 47 and older thinking about starting a family, I think you should think about adopting. Don't think about procreating. Think about adopting. There's a lot of kids out there that need that need love. So that is my mixed bag of tricks of how old is too old. My magic number is you're too old if you're 47 years old to have kids. There you go. That's my number. I'm sticking to it.